In the beginning, you was telling us about the history of the store. You mentioned LA Avenue. LA Avenue, of course, is located in, in Japan. Um, how does having international back, backing help with your inventory? It, it is good having Japan as you know as a backing. You know when they ship us stuff, it's good, and then we ship them stuff. When we get a shipment from them, we'll go ahead and try to like round up some shoes that haven't been moving over here. Mm -hmm. But we know they'll move over there in Japan. We all know the tragedy that Japan had, you know, with the earthquake and the flooding. Did it affect you guys getting the inventory? And if so, how? When the Japan earthquake happened, I mean, mm -hmm. unfortunately it happened in Japan. You know, it kind of all hit us over here. Mm -hmm. We're all really worried. We all emailed our guys over there. Um, but it really didn't affect the inventory too much. Why do you think that sneakerheads in LA don't get the respect they deserve as opposed to like New York sneakerheads? I think that LA sneakerheads don't get as much as, as much respect as uh, New York sneakerheads. Mm -hmm. I mean, Maybe they feel like New York, they've been doing it for a minute, you know, mm -hmm. and Los Angeles just been in their shadow. Yeah. It's always been that, you know, that mm -hmm. New York or LA, always back and forth, right? Mm -hmm. But I mean, honestly, I think they don't get the respect, like, because I guess just the majority of the people in New York kind of just, like, I want to say they think that, like I said, we're probably LA's in their shadow or something. You think it has something to do with the, that we get? We don't get the same amount of releases as New York gets. It's true, though. I mean, we don't get enough releases over here. Right. We should be. Like, oh, New York only got this, but LA didn't. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, okay, so it's a little harder for us to get. So then it's like the prices go up, and, you know, it probably is that. That's why we probably don't get as much respect. Yeah. I mean, we do have a good amount of, like, sneaker stores over here that get releases that are, you know, that are good. Like, House of Hoops and Nike Town. So, mm -hmm. I mean, but then again, like, New York again. I don't know, they do have more shops out there though. Yeah. Um, personally for yourself, do you have a favorite shoe or a favorite sneaker of all time? And if so, why? Favorite shoe of all time? I can go ahead and say probably the, the 2001 Black Cement Air Jordan 3. Okay. Yeah, that would be my favorite. Just mm -hmm. for the fact that like, when I was younger, when I was like 16, mm -hmm. right? When I was like 16, I wanted to get my, hand, like, my hands on a pair of those like so bad, right? So I mean, I remember I was like selling I was selling pretty much everything. Like as soon as I saw them, I was like, "Wow!" Like you know, I saw a pair in like that stock, mm -hmm. like size 11 and a half, and I had to have them. So I honestly sold maybe like four shoes just to have that pair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And my mom was like, "That was the first time I ever spent." I was 16. That's that's the first time I ever spent more than like 400 dollars on a sneaker. Mm -hmm. My mom was going nuts. Yeah. She didn't believe it. Like she was like, "What are you doing? Like mm -hmm. why are you getting rid of all this stuff for this one shoe?" And like to a mother, it was just kind of like a shoe again. Mm -hmm. You guys mentioned not too long ago on Twitter that you have plans to open up a new location. Mm -hmm. um, if you do open up that new location, where would it be and what would be your plans for that new location? Our new location that we've been talking about, honestly, we're, we're probably going to try to keep it a little Tokyo. Mm -hmm. You know, stay true to, you know, I kind of have a roots. Mm -hmm. We're going to probably keep it like within um, probably like a five minute radius, you know, like around gotcha. there. Like, you know, we try to. We're gonna try to keep it close to here, though, honestly, in Little Tokyo. Mm -hmm. um, our plans, though, we're really just trying to, we're really just trying to get another sneaker shop. It's really packed in here. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of shoes, and we hate turning people down. Is there, will it look a little bit different, or will it look be the same? It's probably gonna look a little different. Okay. I mean, the spaces that we've been looking at are new locations that we want to get. Mm -hmm. It's looking a little different. Um, it's gonna be bigger. But thanks again for tuning in. Once again, I'm your host, EP. Uh, when you get the opportunity, please stop in to Riff LA if you're trying to pick up anything as far as like uh, old school shoes or you're trying to pick up anything that may have recently came out, you need to get the chance to get your hands on it. Uh, Riff LA is the number one consignment shop in LA and thank you for tuning in.